Here is how the graduate program in theology at Newman University works. You take one class at a time. Each class lasts eight weeks. In each of those eight weeks, normally two video modules are scheduled. Now, I call them video modules because they're more than just lectures of talking heads. In these video modules, we try to make them as media rich as we can. So, for instance, in one video module, you might take uh, uh, an underground tour of the excavations underneath St. Peter's Basilica. You might take a tour of the Jerusalem Temple, a virtual tour of the Jerusalem Temple. The latest in biblical archaeology may show up in another video module. We try to make learning theology as visual as possible. I think if you look at one of these sample video modules, you will see just how far online education has come. And you can look at one of our sample modules if you click under the Sample Video Modules tab. So after you finish the video module, typically there's going to be some assigned reading uh, that goes along with it. Uh, then once you complete the reading, uh, then you go on to the course web page uh, and get involved in the discussion. Uh, and these discussions, uh, are going to be with other students and the professor is also there uh, providing feedback but we really try uh, to make sure that the discussions are primarily student driven uh, that it's mostly going to be interaction with your fellow students uh, and the professor will be there to answer questions or to provide some feedback um, but these discussions are what we call threaded discussions um, are really an opportunity to get to know your study group uh, so you're doing these intensive week by week discussions in your study group, a, a small handful of fellow students uh, that you're going to spend the entire course with. Uh, and then what we do over the uh, course of the whole program uh, is that by from semester to semester uh, we change up the study group so that you get a chance to know uh, and work with uh, pretty much all of the other students in your cohort. Um, and those threaded discussions are really going to be the heart uh, of the classes where you are able to get into some real depth uh, and nuance in your understanding uh, of the material. Uh, and that's, so that is really the heart of the program overall, is in these courses, watching the video modules, um, doing the reading, uh, and then being involved in these group discussions. Usually three weeks into the eight-week course, students come to campus for what we call the intensive weekend. These weekends bring a face-to-face -face component, with students interacting with their professor and with each other. They also allow for group activities, such as going together to a Jewish synagogue for a Sabbath worship ceremony. These weekends are only required for those on scholarship. They're optional for students not on scholarship. Students who are not on scholarship will be able to access the content presented on these weekends. After these weekends, students continue learning together back home throughout the rest of the course. We offer two different graduate degrees in theology here at Newman. Uh, there's the MA in Theology and then the Masters of Theological Studies or the MTS program. Uh, now the MA in Theology is really designed as uh, a course that will prepare you for possible entry into a PhD program at some point. So in addition to the 30 credit hours of regular coursework, uh, the MA also requires a thesis, uh, it requires comprehensive exams at the end of your coursework, uh, and then also passing uh, two foreign language exams. Um, the MTS degree, or the Masters of Theological Studies, uh, is designed for uh, those who are working in various catechetical ministries uh, in the church. So this would include uh, DREs or uh, RCIA program coordinators, uh, people who are teaching in adult or children's education programs, or really just anyone who is looking for a uh, deeper grounding and understanding of their faith. And if you are interested, there is very generous scholarship support provided by the St. Maria de Matias Endowment with the Catholic Diocese of Wichita. Who is eligible for such a scholarship? Any Catholic member of any parish within the Diocese of Wichita or the Diocese of Dodge City. Any Catholic member who is active in the catechetical ministry in some form is eligible to receive a full tuition scholarship from the St. Maria de Matias Endowment. Now by catechetical ministry we mean anybody who is involved in youth ministry, adult education, RCIA, PSR, grade school teacher, high school teacher, anyone who is involved 
with passing on the Catholic faith in some catechetical ministry broadly defined is eligible for a full tuition scholarship. You pay no tuition if you receive one of these scholarships from the St. Maria de Matias Endowment. If you'd like more information on receiving a scholarship, please look on the tab titled Scholarships and much more information will be provided to you there. This is the heart of our graduate program in theology here at Newman University. There is much more information provided to you throughout this website. Should you have any questions about anything contained in this video or anything that you read here on this website, please feel free to contact me either by phone or by email. My contact information is provided here as well. Thank you again for considering studying theology at the graduate level and for earning your master's degree in theology here at Newman University.